So this is something I don't talk about much, but it's something I really wanted to speak on because I find it pretty interesting, which is the performance of Xbox financially and how they're shaping up this last year. Because it would seem that a lot of people have been trying to say how Xbox should be making their money, be it putting Bethesda games on the PS5 so they can make up the $7.5 billion they spent on the ZeniMax, or it's the fact they feel like Microsoft, one of the biggest companies in the entire world, needs another company to make up a profit. When in reality, that's just not true at all. And from these current numbers that have come out from Microsoft and their earnings report, it would seem that Xbox is doing just fine in the financial department. And why would we question this outcome anyways? Wouldn't Xbox investing in their hardware and software be an indication that Microsoft sees gaming as a massive part of their company's future? Wouldn't the investment in xCloud, which is going to be one of the biggest things coming this generation, show how dedicated they are? All these things show that Xbox has the backing of Microsoft and they aren't worried about making a profit on the platform because it would seem they already are. Which brings me to my biggest part of why I think Xbox is doing just fine when it comes to making money. And that has to do with Xbox Game Pass, which is going to push Xbox to new heights and also change the gaming world. Because there's no other platform or place in gaming where you can get massive games like Gears, Halo, Forza, Elder Scrolls, Doom, Fallout, Wolfenstein, Fable, Avowed, and a bunch of other third-party games like EA Play all in one place, which is Xbox Game Pass. That's the point of this video, is to show people that Xbox doesn't need any other company to make a profit. It's to show that the games they have will be exclusive to their platform. Because it's already paying dividends to Xbox and Xbox Game Pass. And this isn't just my opinion, this is straight from Microsoft's earnings and revenue reports that show the growth of Xbox year over year. And an insider that's talked about Xbox multiple times reported this growth and provided a link directly to Microsoft's report which I read and wanted to talk about because it really does show that Xbox is going to continue to grow. And not only grow, but grow beyond anything that Xbox has done throughout its history. So let's get into these reports and talk about how Xbox is heading into the next generation with the Xbox Series X at the top of their game and ready for anything, because honestly, they've come back from probably the worst launch in 2013. But first, like always, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. All right, enough of that. Let's get into these numbers and talk about the growth we've seen from Xbox the last year, especially since this next generation is right around the corner and the growth of Xbox would only help Microsoft realize the value in the brand. Because let's be real, the start of this current generation wasn't the best and the brand of Xbox took a major hit with gamers. So to see Xbox will have the great growth and more growth than they've ever seen at the end of this generation only makes them want to kick off this new Xbox Series X console in the right way. Especially since gaming is one of the biggest growing markets in the world and there's basically endless growth that can be had with the companies that are a part of it. It's why we're seeing Google, Amazon, Apple, Tencent and of course Sony and Nintendo invest so much money into the gaming market. And it's why we see Microsoft doing the same exact thing with the amount of studios and tech they've invested in which has paid huge dividends for Microsoft when you look at these numbers. Microsoft's reporting that its quarter one financial year 2021, July to September, gaming revenue was up 22% year over year. This was primarily driven by an increase in content and services revenue up 30% year over year, driven by software sales and Game Pass subs. So right off the bat, you can see that the 22% growth year over year is a great thing to see for a brand that's still building what they have in their services. Because while Game Pass is a huge deal for hardcore gamers, and it's been around since 2017, it's still a service in its infancy, and it's still establishing what it is to the casual market of gamers who's going to be the main source of the income. So to see that much growth that's due to software and Game Pass subscriptions is a great indication that Microsoft sees the amazing growth it's having. Because we have to remember, this subscription, this service, and this Xbox platform in general is still at the beginning of their strategy. They don't have everything firing on all cylinders, and they don't have the platform at the height it could be. That will happen when they have all of the studios pushing out great games on a consistent basis. It will happen when xCloud is a household name and the people use it as a main source of gaming. That's when the investment Microsoft and Xbox put into the platform will start to pay off. But let's get back to these sales numbers and revenue numbers. This is usually the part where I do a bunch of tweets breaking down Xbox by number of live users, hardware, growth has decline, and other stuff. Except Microsoft doesn't report any of that anymore. So 
Now, this is something that we've known for a while. Xbox and Microsoft just don't care about the hardware sales numbers because they've become a small percentage of the actual growth of the Xbox platform. Xbox Live users is also an indication they use to report on and still do to some extent. But it's not an indication of great growth when it comes to actual revenue that's being circulated into the platform. Now, I know that will annoy some people because they always want to talk about the console sales and to see who will sell the most consoles. But that's just not the main priority for Xbox, and it hasn't been their main priority for some time now. Instead, they want to get multiple avenues of money coming in from Xbox. Do they want Xbox Series X and the Xbox consoles to sell well? Of course they do. But if that was their main priority, they wouldn't have put their games on PC and on mobile devices with xCloud. But that doesn't mean they haven't made a ton of money, which this tweet says here. That being said, the only thing I can say for sure is from the first tweet. Xbox total gaming revenue was up 22% year over year, which means it generated around 3.1 billion in the quarter. The majority being content and services sales, which was up 30% year over year. Can you see the one constant that seems to bring in a lot of revenue to the Xbox platform? It's the services and the content that's provided on those services. This will continue to be the most important aspect of the Xbox platform going forward, which only benefits us gamers who love to play even more games. If you see a 30% growth year over year, not to mention it's already confirmed that they have over 15 million subscribers on Xbox Game Pass, it's easy to see where Xbox and Microsoft will focus their efforts, which will be Xbox Game Pass and xCloud. Now, I know a lot of people will hate to hear that, but the reality of the situation is that this helps every single gamer that's a part of the Xbox platform. If you're a console gamer, you will get better games and more games coming to Xbox Game Pass. So you're covered there, and it's already been confirmed for over a year now that the Xbox Series X is going to be the most powerful console in the world. So you see the dedication and the hardware that Xbox has provided. And if you're a PC gamer, you get all of these first parties day and date on PC through Xbox Game Pass. It's a win-win for whoever wants to be a part of the Xbox platform, no matter what device you want to play on. But what does that mean for Xbox and their revenue when it's compared to their history of growth? Well, it's looking like it's the best they've ever seen before, which is set here. So here's the good news for Xbox. It's multi-platform content and services strategy is paying off. This would be the best quarter one on record for the gaming segment, and it's on track for another record year in terms of revenue. Here's a look at annual revenue of gaming segment. As you can see with this graph, the amount of growth is not only services, but sales is making Xbox one of the most dominant publishers in gaming. And this type of growth should make all gamers that invest in the Xbox platform feel so much better. Because without this growth and the amount of success Game Pass and the streaming service has gotten, we wouldn't have gotten the Zenimax purchase, we wouldn't have gotten EA Play added to Game Pass for free, and we definitely wouldn't have gotten so much investment from Microsoft into the gaming platform of Xbox. This is why I'm happy to see these numbers take off, because I love the fact I can turn on my Xbox and download all of their first party games without having to drop $60 on them. I love that I can continue those games on my PC if I feel like it. I love how everything is connected and I can play my games the way I want to play them. I'm not tied down and I'm not boxed into one console. Instead, I can choose how I want to play, when I want to play, and where I want to play. Now, I know this strategy was given a lot of hate when Xbox introduced it back in 2016, when they decided to put their first party games on PC. I understand that the console-centric gamer got angry for some reason. But for me as a gamer that loves to just play games, I always found it groundbreaking. And if you look at the growth of the revenue that Xbox has seen the last couple of years, you can tell that the decision they made was the right one. Because this growth not only shows me they're making money, but it shows me that more and more gamers are experiencing these games that we love. To me, that's pretty awesome. Sure, it's all about money and these games are only going to be made if they make money. But for me as a gamer and as someone that just loves to play games, this is something I can't help but smile at because it just means I'm going to be getting even more first party games from Xbox. I'm gonna get even more investments into first party studios and it means I'm going to get more content to play on my Xbox. So let's be happy this growth is happening and let's hope that this growth happens across all gaming on all platforms so we can get even more games from everyone else because competition again is king. But enough of what I think about all of this. Tell me what you think about all of this. Are you surprised by the growth of Xbox? Do you think this will continue to happen with the platform? Are you happy Game Pass is growing beyond anything we thought it could have? What else can Xbox do to grow their brand? Do you care about console sales more than overall growth? Will this help the Xbox Series X sell more consoles? Do you want to see more games come to the Xbox platform? Will Sony follow the strategy that has been laid down by Microsoft and Xbox? 
go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. Right now, I'm playing Watch Dogs Legion. The game is a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun with that game. I've been going around, taking people out, stealing cars, using things to get on top of buildings, doing a couple little things with a spider robot. The game's actually a lot of fun. I really recommend you check it out. And I can't wait to see how it looks on that Xbox Series X when I get one. Because right now on the One X, it actually looks pretty decent. I think the game is a lot of fun and I'm just waiting for Valhalla. So this is a good little time sink before that comes out. But tell me what you're playing. Go down below. I love to hear what everyone's playing. Are you working through your backlog or are you playing Watch Dogs Legions like me? Go down below and let me know. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.